The following video is sponsored by InstantMaddenCoins.com. The only place to get Madden Coins instantly on every console and platform is InstantMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID at checkout for a 10% discount. Hey, what is going on, guys? Clickwood here, back again with another Madden 17 Ultimate Team update for you guys. Today, we have two brand new flashback cards in the game. We have this 94 overall Demarius Thomas first. We're going to take a look at this thing here. Again, 94 overall, making it one of the highest overall wide receivers currently in the game. It's going for around 500,000 coins right now on the PlayStation 4. I've seen it going for a little bit less than that, but I think this is kind of the price that it's going to be at least for the next couple of days here while it's still in packs. This is a wild card card from 2012. Very nice attributes on this thing. It does have two chemistries that you would be interested in, the chain mover chemistry and the deep threat chemistry. It does have two times on the chain mover chemistry as well. But the attributes, solid, solid attributes as far as the actual receiving uh, attributes go. It is a little bit slower than I was expecting. Uh, if you think about it, a 2012 Demarius Thomas, Thomas was one of the fastest receivers in the league. Now, he wasn't like, you know, Devin Hester at his top end speed level speed. He wasn't Tyreek Hill, but he was definitely one of the faster big men in the league. Um, and certainly a guy that I would think be, would be deserving of like a 93 speed, in my opinion. Maybe at least a little bit better acceleration. So I'm a little bit disappointed in that, but I think overall the attributes kind of make up for it. It does only have 87 for catching, which is a little bit disappointing, but it does make up for it in some of these other areas. The jumping 94, that is ridiculously good. He also has a really good stiff arm at an 88 so if you get him out in the open field and you can hit somebody with that stiff arm you can a lot of times break the tackle and go for a big gain um, other than that the spectacular catch being a 94 the 93 catch in traffic and the 90 for route running very very nice attributes kind of across the board there it does also have a 94 for release so if people are trying to press you this is a card that can get off that uh that pressure and definitely make some big plays for you the other thing that this card does have as well is that it is actually the highest run blocking wide receiver currently in Mutt. 72 for a run block. It does beat out the Alshon Jeffrey card, which actually only has a 70 for, uh, and that's the Alshon Jeffrey flashback, by the way, which only has a 70 for run block. So big, big upgrade there. I think that um, definitely Demarius Thomas is deserving. He is a great run blocking wide receiver, and he's very, very strong as well. So it's good to see that. So yeah, overall, really, really nice card here. Um, I do think it's a little bit overpriced as it currently stands, but it will probably, you know, even out eventually, and we're probably going to see it going for more around like 300, 350,000. This card will probably also lower the price a little bit on that Alshon Jeffrey that we talked about because the Alshon Jeffrey is pretty much just a little bit lower in just about everything other than the pure catching attribute uh, than this Demarius Thomas. So again, Overall, I definitely think this is a good card. It's certainly worthy of being a card that you would add to your Mutt team, but uh, again, a little bit overpriced. Now, the other card that we got today was also another flashback, Jarrell Freeman. This is from the wild card year of 2015. Now, this one is a very interesting card because I think a lot of people aren't going to take a look at this thing and think it's anything special, but it's actually quite good in a couple of different areas. The reason that we're looking at it on the Mutthead website, obviously, is because it's not currently on the auction block. Uh, this is kind of a common thing. It's not currently in uh, anywhere on the, the Madden Ultimate Team auction block. So this is the best way for us to take a look at it. It is a nice card, though. I'm telling you guys, 93 overall. Um, definitely a, a card that you should take a look at if you don't use your middle linebacker because I want to show you guys some of these attributes that this thing has here. It has an 85 speed and an 85 acceleration, which is certainly good enough to be a viable user if you want to user him. But he has great awareness at a 91. He also has some of the attributes that I think are most important, including pursuit and play recognition. You see the 92 pursuit, the 91 play recognition. Very, very nice attributes for him there. He also has good hit power. Um, he, he can also tackle at a 92. So, I mean, all these attributes are very, very good. The 91 block shed is also an important thing. One thing that I found a little bit interesting here is that this, this middle linebacker card, card does have an 85 for a power move, which I actually didn't go in and look, but I'm imagining that that's probably among the highest, if not the highest, for the middle linebackers in this game right now. I mean, 85 for a pass rush move as, as a middle linebacker, that's hard to come by. 
So that's definitely a nice thing to have. You don't really blitz your middle linebackers that often in this game, and at least I certainly don't. I don't see a lot of other people doing it, but if you do do it, it's certainly something where he can get off those blocks and get after the quarterback, so that's always a good thing to have. Now, one area where this card does actually stand out is that it actually has the highest zone coverage of any linebacker or any middle linebacker currently in the game at an 89. It's the best pass coverage middle linebacker, at least in terms of zone coverage, currently in the game. So that is a very, very nice attribute. Certainly, there will be other ones that come out that are better than this card, but as it stands right now, I actually do think Jarrell Freeman is among the best middle linebackers that you can get if you don't use your middle linebacker. If you're somebody who typically uses, let's say, a defensive lineman or a safety or something like that, or even an outside linebacker, I think this is a good card that you could potentially add to your team and get some nice value out of and, and you know the computer can maybe control him and have him do a good job for you. So with that said, guys, that is the card. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please do me a favor and drop a like and let me know in the comment section below what do you guys think about these two flashback cards? Are they good enough for you? Are you going to add them to your team? What do you guys think? Let me know and I will talk to you guys again soon.